Yeah, for the main course, we'll be preparing Ijemau Jeatuguni. So we need um, the Mau yes. is the Guinea corn, mm -hmm. and the Atugu is the cassava flour. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be served with Inimikuka. Mm -hmm. Inimikuka is um, kuka which is called the baoba leaf. For those of you that don't understand um, Hausa, then for the inimi kuka, we'll be needing the kuka, we'll be needing the um, dawa dawa, kulataka. <laughs> then um, our, uh, our seasoning cubes, we'll be needing crayfish, we'll be needing um, fish. Fish is our main ingredient in this. Um, soup. Okay. So we have our pepper here. This uh, this is our pepper mix. It's already I've uh, blended it for easy access. Obviously, you used onions, tatashi, and, and atarugu. atarugu. Mm -hmm. Then we have our chicken. Remember, I said I'm going to take it to the next level. level. Oh, yeah. Right. So we have our red oil here. Then the fish here. So everything those are the things, yeah, yeah, sourced. yeah. Everything uh, locally sourced. Beautiful. The fish is not from the uh, uh, this thing; it's directly from the river. Mm -hmm. You know, we the Kakandas, we hardly cook without fish. You, you are all river rind. <laughs> we are river rind people, so fish is our main delicacy. Yeah. Interesting. So a source of protein, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Naka jingi nyerichi mi kakanda. Let's start um, cooking uh, the kakanda cuisines. So our red oil goes in for a few minutes. We are not going to fry it, it's just a shallow fry. You're not bleaching it. No, I'm not bleaching it here. Yeah. So we'll leave it for like a minute. So I will need you to help me with the pepper mix. So we'll just add our pepper mix. This is our atarugu, our tatase with onions. Mm -hmm. So this is all we need for the pepper mix. So we are going in with our fish. Then you give us our ari. That's our dawa dawa. Yeah. We add like a teaspoon of the dawa dawa. So we stir and leave it for like two minutes to simmer. So while the pepper mix is cooking, I will boil the chicken. We'll add our seasoning cubes. We don't need any curry or thyme as we are trying to bring out that local original taste. So all we need here is just the um, seasoning cubes and our onions. So I'm going to slice in the onion because I already have it in my pepper mix. It doesn't matter how you chopped or sliced it, it will all melt in the water. So I'll need a small salt, yeah, then water. You're ready? Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit of water. So that is it. So while the chicken is cooking, we'll go back to our pepper mix. So this is our pepper mix, as you can see. It's looking different. So this is the crayfish, then the seasoning cubes. The 
this me and Kuka, as I'm telling you, is on another level. <coughs> so while the chicken is cooking, we'll add water and cover it and allow it and allow the fish to get soft. So while the chicken is cooking, I'll have to off the gas to allow the chicken to cook. Then I'll pour the chicken mix in the pepper mix. So I'll give it like um, 10 minutes for it to cook, then transfer it to the pepper mix. Um, we are checking our chicken. Mm -hmm. This is after 10, 12 minutes. Yes, yes. So the chicken is... It's cooked soft. Yeah. It has released all the juices. Has... Mm -hmm. So we are going to transfer it to our pepper mix. So this is the pepper mix. So um, I'll transfer the chicken to the pepper mix. Okay. I'm transferring everything. Yeah. You know we are generous people. <laughs> the kakandas. <laughs> So this is it, we we'll still need little water to allow it to cook for a few more minutes. So at this moment we are not needing any more seasoning because you know we add seasoning to the chicken and seasoning to the pepper mix. As it is, it's okay but I will give it a taste. It's Just okay, yeah, it's okay. So this is it. So we'll leave it for like um, five more minutes. Okay. Then our cooker will go in. Mm. Let's check our pepper mix. Mm. As you can see, the aroma. It's, it's really nice. The aroma coming from the, the dawa, mm -hmm. the fish, the crayfish, the chicken. So it's all blending together. Mm -hmm. So normally, before I put the cooker, some people will take out the fish. Mm from the pot so that it won't get scattered but you know our fish the kakanda fish is different from the normal fish you see around why because this is from the river as you can see it's not scattered so i'm not taking it out <laughs> this is it this is how we do it some people use broom yeah but i don't use broom As you can see, even the way I'm turning it, the fish is still the same. Mm -hmm. So this is our enemy cooker. Very okay. I told you. <laughs> Grandma has passed it down from generation to generation, right? Yeah. This is our special kakanda enemy cooker. Mm. As you can see, the color, mm -hmm. the chicken, mm -hmm. the fish. Mm -hmm. I will reserve my comments mm. for later. Let's hope the taste will be out of this world. Yeah, it will. Okay. <laughs> well done, Chef. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is our water that we use to do the um, atoguni. So while the water is boiling, we we'll mix the um, guinea corn flour. So, like a paste? Yeah, like a paste telge. to do telge, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we'll do the telge with igebanchi. Igebanchi is what we we'll use. Igebanchi is in uh, mochi, yeah. So we are using it for the mixture. So I will need water. Right. We'll need more. Right. So this is the ige matuguje atuguni. It's not put atugu yet. This is the atugu. That is why some people prefer using the whisk mm, okay. because of the lumps. Mm. So this is it. Should yeah. I open it? Yeah. Thank you. So this is it. We are turning it into the water. That's the boiling water. It has to boil, right? I will stir for like a minute, then cover it and allow it to cook, to boil and cook for like five minutes. It doesn't take long, yeah. 
No, no, I won't cover it completely. Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't take long to cook. So that is it. We'll just allow it to cook for just a few minutes. Then we'll put the edible. So this is how we are going to leave it, huh? Okay. Partially cooked. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. And this will cook for how long? Five minutes. Okay. Mm. This is after five, six minutes. And you cook this pot. Yes, yeah. yeah, because it's thick. Once it's thick, it won't froth. Mm -hmm. But if it's watery, it will. Okay. Mm. And it's, it doesn't take long to cook. So we are going in, in with our atugu. Mm. That's the cassava flour. This is the atugu. And yes. see how it looks? Mm -hmm. White. White. So. Do you need help? Yeah, I will. So I'm reducing the flame. Okay, this time around it won't be much. Okay. Come then to stop. Okay. Thank you. You can see how it looks, the consistency. Not too watery, not too thick. So this is it. We'll cover, cover it. Well done. Thank you. A Ige Awugo. My Ige Awugo is ready, so I'm going to turn off the heat now. So I'll turn it again. Wow. And it's not sticking to the pot. It's not. So this is it. The awugo is ready. You know the kakandas, they prefer eating their tuo mixed with atugo. Hmm, they that's the cassava. That's the cassava. They don't just cook the um, awo and eat it like that. That's the corn, guinea corn mm. flour. They mix it. Even if they are cooking to a masara, they will still have to mix it with atugo. Wow. Yeah. So our atugo... Maybe it flows better. It flows better. <laughs> that is it. That is the secret. <laughs> Our tuo is ready and we are serving it with our delicious enemy cooker. Mm -hmm. Our special meal cooker. Guys, on another level. <laughs> on another level, yeah. <laughs> Our meal cooker is ready. This is the tour bring the any meal cooker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is our special igemao jiatuguni served with any meal cooker. So this is it.